Hi, it's Hannah, and today I'll be showing you five cute designs that are great for Valentine's Day, so let's get started. Starting off, apply a base coat to your nails. X's and O's will be the first design. I'll be using a red polish for my base color. Using white acrylic paint and a small brush, I'm just going to draw the X's onto the nail and then use a dotting tool for the O's. Continue to do this all the way down the nail, leaving some spaces open to add hearts. Add smaller red dots in the middle of the white dots to complete the O. For the hearts, I'll be using pink acrylic paint and I'm going to apply two small dots first and then form the rest of the heart. I decided I wanted a heart in the corner, so I'm just going to cover the O with some red polish and then add the heart. Next up we have a cut out heart, so I'll be applying a pink polish for my base color. Dip a pointed cotton applicator into 100% acetone and carefully begin removing the polish into a heart shape. Be sure to re-dip whenever you need to so it doesn't dry out, and it's best to use a couple applicators since the tip will eventually dull. Now I'll be showing you a two-tone heart design. I'll be using the pink again for the base color. Apply a fast drying top coat over the entire nail. Once it's totally dry, place a piece of striping tape down the middle. Then apply a red polish to one side and then remove the tape immediately after. Outline the heart with red polish on the pink side and then fill it in. Do the same thing with the pink polish on the red side. For the love nail, I'll be applying a red polish for my base color. Then with white acrylic paint and a small brush, I'm going to write the word love diagonally onto the nail. This of course takes some practice, I like using acrylic paint because it's a lot easier to apply for details like these. Also if you suffer from shaky hands, try placing your wrist or pinky down onto something solid and that should help a lot. And remember you want to sort of glide the paint along, you don't want to press down too hard. For the last design we have a cute double heart tip, so I'm just going to take the pink polish and create two curves coming from each side of the nail, let it dry, and then do the same thing with the red polish. I also decided to go back and give my cutout heart a white outline, this is totally optional but I just liked how it looked. Finally, apply a top coat to help protect your design and give it a nice glossy finish. So that does it for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to find me on social so you can tag me all your nail or nail art pictures, I'd love to see them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later, bye!